Don't say that. Stop saying that, please. You know, because the Jesus you love is not the same okay. Jesus. If, if, if he loves Jesus, sis, let's move on from the Quran because you failed to prove your case. And I am assuming as a Muslim you are a little bit shame of it, but that's fine. So, you say you love Jesus, okay? Brother, what is the teachings of Jesus when it comes to the children? How does Jesus wants you to look at... Um, how Je yeah, how does Jesus want you to um, look for children? Does he want you to abuse children? Does he want you to care for children? Yeah, yeah. What does Jesus teach when it comes to children? Well, Jesus taught us to actually look at children that their angels see the Father and that they are going to heaven because they don't know the difference between good and bad. So he loves them and he said, forbid not the children to come to me, bring them to me and never to abuse a child, of course. Okay, so Jesus is teaching to love and care mm -hmm. and not abuse the ch children. Mm -hmm. Do you think is that a good teaching? Yes, okay, good. so... Um, what do you think of somebody abuses children? Yeah, so let's say, let's say that gentleman over there mm -hmm. abused the child. The child, the Jesus whom you follow, says, love that child, care for that child. What would you say? Is that good thing or bad thing, abusing that child? Bad thing. That's a bad thing. What would you do to him when you see he's abusing the child? I would uh, physically stop him if I can first and then find out what's going on. Oh, you will physically stop him for abusing a child which Jesus tells to not because you say to follow Jesus. Yeah. Okay. The, it, does it matter if he's like president? Does it matter if he's um, imam? Does it matter if he's priest? If a priest, if okay. a priest so you, it, 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 it is shame that you need to think about it. Brother, does it matter if he is president or priest or imam or your uncle or your father? Does it matter if the person is abusing a child? It doesn't matter. I will report that person to the police and I will do what you said. I will try physically to stop that person from abusing a child. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Good. Thank you. Good. Thank you. We agree. Do you think? Do you think abusing like if I slap him is that if his child if I slap a child is that abusing a child? Yes. Do you think if I have sex with a child is that abusing a child? Yes. Yes. And if I do that, you will step in and stop me because that is very very bad thing because you want to follow the teachings of Jesus. Correct? Right. Okay. Surah 65 verse 4. Brother, get the book out. Surah 65 verse 4. Your Quran, which is you expressed as the authentic, authentic and the word of Allah. Surah 65. Brother, focus this way. Okay? Tells, tells that you have a sex with a child and divorce that child. Is that child abuse? Verse 4. Is that the child abuse? Why, why are you pausing? She's asking a question. So if the, if the verse says, okay, if the verse says, we will, we will read it, actually we will let you to read it. If the verse says, have a sex with a child and divorce that child, would you say that's a child abuse? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Surah 65, verse 4. Yes. Come close to him so I can hear you. Oh, oh, okay. You want to see? You follow the teachings of one. Teachings of Jesus. Come close. Okay. Here. Here is the verse. Wallahi ya'isna minal mahid min nisa'akum. In Scott, correct? Yeah, it says 4, 4, yeah. 4. Surah 65, verse 4. Yes. Yes. Okay. 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 Such of you women 
as have passed the age of monthly monthly courses like the period yeah for them the prescribed period if you have any doubts is three months and for those who have no courses no periods mm -hmm. it is the same for those who carry life within it's between brackets life within the wombs their period is until they deliver their burdens like their children and for those who fear allah he will make their path easy so how many how many group of women allah is talking in here and what is allah saying can you tell me no, no. How, how many groups of women? of women? How many groups of women? So he talked here, such of you women, let's count together, okay? As have passed the age of monthly courses, monthly who periods. Are they? Who are they? So these are the women who like passed, like old women, passed the period. They, they have menopause. They are not having periods anymore. So that's the first group. That's old people. Yes, old, old women, women. Old women. Okay? okay. So they have already passed the monthly period. For them, the prescribed period, if you have any doubts, is three months. So if you want to marry an older woman, you give her three months just to make sure that she's not pregnant. Okay? And then you go and have relationship with her. Physical relationship. After you understand? You yes. Yes. Yeah, after you marry. Wow. I'm trying to be nice. Okay. <laughs> okay. After, you marry. okay. After you marry her, you stay three months before having sexual relationship with her. Okay? So this is the first group. And for those who have no courses or periods, they, they don't have a period yet. Who are they? So who are they? You can ask them. Yeah, who are they? Those so who... Your, your okay. mother... Your mother is old, okay? She passed she's not, the period she, time. She's not, having, she's not bleeding once a month now, okay? So, who is the ones who are yet to have their period? You, you forgot about the one that's actually had the period. I'm not talking about that. Eat that. I'm not talking what about, about that. that one? Yes. That's what that's talking about. No. The one who has the period. Okay, we are not, we are before not she gets married, she, she has to have a period. And she yes. has to go through a, 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 a monthly thing it, it to make sure yeah. that she's not pregnant. That's who's that talking Sorry. about. Okay. It's no, no, not no. talking about an older can, woman past the... They, they're not talking about menopause women. Can, can they're talk? talking about women who have periods. So that's that's a, women who okay. have reached puberty. Mr. Museum, Mr. Museum. So, first group is people. Okay? It says... Let's look at here. It says mm -hmm. who passed. Okay? So they are like your mom. Age of your mom. Okay, they're old women, they're not believing anymore. Mm -hmm. Second group is says, okay, and those Lam yahidna. they don't have a period in Arabic. Lam yahidna. They don't have a period. Okay, so they who are they? Started. Who are they? Are they are they like a woman in age of me? A answer my question, Mr. Mizum. I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand. Okay, the ones who are not. Having their period yet? Are they women in my age? Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're young women. They're young. Who, who, they're, they're having periods, but they're just not on it. No, no, no. You said they haven't period yet. They don't have a period yet. So, so look, are there young. are kids over there. There okay. are kids over there. Are they having I know their what you're period? To. You're trying to get to. I'm not that, trying. I'm trying that, to understand, my brother. I'm not young imposing. Young is, is permissible oh. to marry. They brother Ralph. Brother Ralph. That's, that's, that's why saying. you're going around. I'm not saying anything. I'm no, trying I'm to understand that, the crowd. My is brother. That, I'm not getting. It's okay to marry children. I'm not okay? saying that. Is it okay, is it okay to marry a child? No, it's not okay. It's not okay? No, it's not okay. Okay, in here, who are the ones who are not believing yet? That's a child. That's a child. That it's not permissible to marry. Okay. It says here it's permissible. After it's divorce. Seven. It says divorce. Oh. Name of the chapter is divorce. <laughs> so you marry. <laughs> Brother, focus. Brother, <laughs> focus. Who married? It's not funny. It is very ugly and you are laughing. It is not funny. You are divorcing a child. Who allowed you? You are divorcing a child. Before you divorce a child, what you do? You have sex with that child. And you are making that child to wait three months for that divorced child to go and have sex with someone else. You said 
you follow the teachings of Jesus. You said teachings of Jesus tells you to love and care for children, yeah, and no. now your Quran is saying okay, you go and us. abuse that child. I, I, I you, you tell I us what it means. Oh, it's like this. I, I can't think, hear you. I think you put the wrong interpretation. Okay, you tell us. Okay, well, you tell us the interpretation now. Here is the Quran. Here is the Quran. Yeah. The women that have this puberty because you can't marry a woman. If she had to reach puberty, and she, she's to not, she can't even have, she can't even bear children. Who is it doesn't speaking make in sense. here? Who is speaking here? That's not, that's that, no, no religious book Allah, have ever Allah, said it's Allah okay is to saying, marry oh, children. Yeah. Ralph, thank you for your opinion. I like it. I respect you, but I don't care about your opinion right here because we're trying to understand the word of Do Allah. Do you want us to believe in Allah or you? Or you. Did Are I you the prophet or? Okay, okay here. Believe in Allah. That's Interpret Allah that. Say. Yeah, tell me what Allah says. Allah is saying what? I'm, I'm, I know with a surety this is not talking about marrying children, which you're trying to get to. I am not trying to get anything. I'm not, I'm not a scholar. I'm not trying to. To make interpretation. Uh, Ralph, every um, time you really uh, feel stuck, you feel I, I you say I'm not a scholar. Yeah, I'm don't not. don't don't play this game, okay. Ralph. You you are a good man with common sense. And you have been answering questions in a, in a good way so far. I like your discussion. So please, when you find something that you don't like in Quran or Islam, don't say I'm not a scholar. Please tell it. You have been honest. You have been truthful so far. So please continue like this. There are groups here of women. He's talking about different groups. The older women who have no period anymore, they are in the menopause stage. And he says you, that you, they have to stay for three months to make sure that they are not pregnant. And, and the other group is those who don't have a period yet. In Arabic, if you understand. I don't know if these ladies know Arabic. There are, there are some Muslim ladies. Can you come? Can you come, please? Do you speak Arabic? Do you speak Arabic? Okay, please. Let me ask you an Arabic question. Okay. Do, do you know the verse in in uh, Surah Al Talaq? No, I don't know. Okay. Okay, I will I will read it for you, or you can. Do you know how to read? Yeah, okay. Uh, you do. Why don't you come? Why are you afraid? Do you know how to read Arabic or no? Yes or no? We do. Can you read this verse? We do. Can you do? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Stop! Stop! Don't tell them what to do. Surah al Talaq, Ayah Arba. You don't know. Okay, let me read it for you. Yes, I do, but like. Okay. Yes, it is in Arabic. It is in Arabic. Go out of the recording. We can stop the recording. It's not, it's not on here. It's over this way. Yeah, please. Yeah, don't, don't record that. One o four. Wala ila miyahatna. Wala i yasin min al mahid. Min al mahid. <laughs> okay, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. Wala iya isna min al mahid min nisaikum in ertaptum. Faiddatahunna. Faiddatahunna thalatatun ashfar. Wa ila lam yahidna. Wala i lam yahidna. Wala i lam yahidna. Wa ula atil ahmal ajluhun. Ajalahunna. Ajalahunna an yadahunna. Bravo, bravo. Do you know the word Yahidna? Yani eh? Like, I don't know. Yani No, I don't know. Okay. Al Mahid bimana al period, you know, in English also. So here is talking about actually three group of women, three groups. One is Older ladies. Her English is very good. We, you, can, we can allow her to read in English. Do you want to? Do you know English? So this is translation. Read the English and then help us. Such of your women as have passed the age of monthly courses for them. The monthly the period. Okay. It means yeah. that. for them. The prescribed period, if you have any doubts, is three months. And for those who have no course, it is the name. For those who carry life within their wombs, their period is until they deliver their burdens. And for those who fear Allah, He will make their paths easy. Thank so, you. How many groups of women Allah is talking? Uh, Tell us the first one. How many groups of women Allah is talking? Tell us the first group. Three, 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 three
for those who carry life within their no, 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 this is the third. Okay, so one of uh, one of the group is the pregnant woman, yes. women okay. as ha who have passed the age of monthly courses. So that's first one. So who are they? Do you think who doesn't have period anymore? The old days. Old, old days. days. So that's like, the first group. Yeah. Woman in my age of my mother. Okay. Yeah. And the second group? The prescribed period of for those who have no courses. Yeah, so okay. So who are who? Who, who never had it? Okay. Uh, so that will be. Let's say Somebody age will, under 11 yeah. or 12. Yeah. So okay. Okay, that's the second group. What and is the third? Group? And for those who carry life within their wounds. That's the pregnant right. woman. Okay. So, so chapter. Groups of women. One is who pass the age of the period. They have menopause, and the second group is the one who don't have a period yet. So they are children, uh, girls, and the third one is the pregnant woman. Is that true? Are we lying? So chapter is so chapter is talking about divorcing them. Okay, how old are you, sister? Sixteen. Sixteen. Um, do you thirteen? Do you know when men and women marry? What do they do? So they have sex, and then when they divorce, they are not husband and wife anymore. They don't have sex anymore. Okay. So in here it is talking. Sorry for the language. In here it is talking about when you divorce the woman who you marry. You give them time for them to wait so that they can remarry. So, what it was the second group of those women? Okay, so that, that they are the children. So, do you think, do, so you are telling me, you can divorce a child who is not having her period yet? Do you think? But you just read it to us. He said you divorce three groups. You, he's talking now about the idda. Do you know the idda? That. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said that. You, yeah. She said that, right? So he's talking here that you give them a period of three months as the idda, as the idda. So you, nobody can marry them, remarry them. So he's saying when you divorce these three groups of women, you give them three months to make sure that they are not pregnant. The first group is the older women who have no periods anymore. When you divorce them, they stay three months and then they remarry. Are you following? The yeah. second group, he said, those who have no periods, children, you said that. You divorce them. So it means you are actually, ma we're married to them, right or wrong. How can you divorce somebody you're not married to? So he says, when you divorce them, you give them three months as idda, and then they remarry. And the third group is, if so, if a woman is pregnant, you give her also three months, or until she gives birth to her child, and then she remarries. So we are talking about three groups, right? Yeah, you can. Okay, okay. no, no, come, come back just she a will, second. And Wait. she will bring okay. another lady. So, that's okay. fine. Stay with us. You are only 13. Do you think is it all right for someone, a man, to marry someone who is only 11 years old? Mm -hmm. Do you is think it okay? is, it all, is it okay for men to marry someone who is 11 years old? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. So it's okay. Habibi, come Bible. here. Habibi. Come, come, come. So it's okay. You wanna come? So it's okay to marry anyone. Come here. Is it, is it okay? Come, come here. Come. Is it okay to marry someone who is five years old? Five years old? No. Why not? Habibi, come here. Come, come. Okay. Okay, so she she is having a problem. Um, by stating that it is all right to marry 11 years old. And she needed to reflect on is it all right to marry a nine years old? According to Quran, according to Quran, according to Quran, which is the word of Allah, you marry the ones who are not believing yet. You told me you follow the teachings of Jesus. I told you, Jesus tells you to love and care for children. 
then why your God comes and then says, go and abuse those kids? No, tell me this, tell me this. Put the mic if, close to you. Tell me this, if a child reaches puberty and just say you, it was 2,000 years ago, it was 1,500 years ago, and a child reached puberty, that means she's able to bear children. God gives us a sign when a girl is, reaches puberty, that means she has a menstrual cycle, that she's able to give birth to a child. And we all know that even down south, I've heard that they married as young as 14 years old. So, I mean, and before then, back further, they probably married girls even earlier because they went, they didn't go by our code of waiting until they're a certain age, like 18, Mr. 17. Muslim, they I want you to look at my face now. Actually, when they were Mr. Able Muslim. to bear children, whether they were nine, 10, or 11, and she got her period, and she was in a certain particular time with a certain culture, she married. Mr. Muslim, now look at my face. Are you looking at my face? Oh, oh, oh. Are you looking at my face? Are you looking at my face? Okay. So my face is gonna simply state what the Quran says. Quran says, I am grateful that you think you need to wait until they have their period. Quran says, which is the word of Allah, says to you, you marry and have sex those girls who are not bleeding yet. Okay? And you are divorcing them. So I want you to deal with that. That's where the discrepancy came. Because I, I want I you to deal with it. I take the interpretation is that they reach puberty. But Allah simply says they are not you bleeding said, yet. You said, you said Mr. Puberty. Muslim, Allah says they are not bleeding yet. Am I right to understand you have a problem? You have a problem if someone has sex with a child. Correct? Do you have a problem if man have sex with a child? Atun, Atun. I know you. All the way from I don't know you. What is your What is your favorite all color? All the way from UK. Come and defend your prophet. All the way from UK. Yes. You don't have speakers corner not enough for you. Yeah. It is enough, but you need you, Jesus. You talk to so them. Tell me about. You don't, have enough, you don't have enough information. Tell me about. Is it all right for you to have sex with a child? What are talking about? I want you to tell me, as a Muslim man who are standing here in Birbon, is it all right for you to have a sex with a child? I, I am not talking about them. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about you. Is it okay for you? Okay, when she's ready, her body is ready, bear children, that's the for you. Okay, that's for you. When she is ready to bear children, you will have sex with her. Okay, that's fine. I'm not talking about, listen, I'm not talking about culture. I'm talking about what Allah says, okay? Allah Do you still believe? Repeat that one. Allah says, لَمْ يَحِدْنَا. لَمْ يَحِدْنَا, they don't have a period yet. Okay, so now, so, I am a curious woman. Look at my face and then tell me. Something which is not okay for you, it's okay for Allah. Do you see Allah as a child abuser? No, because I, I don't interpret that statement to mean that you can marry a child. Allah is not only the best of deceivers, but Allah is also the worst of the communicators. I am grateful that you are in Dearborn and you think people shouldn't have sex with a child. I guess when you get in front of Allah on the day of judgment, you have to say to Allah, Oh Allah, why would you abuse children why would you destroy humanity by telling a man to go and have sex with a child who is not believing yet allah where, where where was your brain you didn't think that is abuse of child you didn't think that is harming a child not only that allah why would you allow your prophet to go and have a sex with a girl who is only nine years old what do you think allah will tell you when you say that to allah they cannot question Allah. They went, they went to... Sorry? No, you cannot no, no, question no, 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 no. He questioned Allah earlier. No, 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 no you cannot nature, question Allah. Nature, yeah, you are just a slave, brother. Children. Stop talking to Allah so like she's that. she's nine years old. You cannot old, talk to Allah. And she can bear children. It might have been a culture. They married girls that young. 
Do you know what? Do you know what age? Okay. Do you know what age? They may have needed children to help them Brother, with whatever. Stop preaching. I, I am used to this preaching. Okay. He's not preaching. Okay. He's trying to justify. Okay. Okay. He's not preaching. He's trying to justify. Even in America, as a Muslim, he's trying to justify. Yes, because Allah said it is okay to go and climb top of a child who is not believing. Therefore, I cannot question Allah. Look at those kids. Your Allah is saying you can abuse them. I am sorry that Allah is talking about them. That's not my fault. Who is Allah talking about? I actually memorized the Quran. That's how much she loved the Rasul and how much she believed in Islam. You can't come and say that the Rasul climbed on top of her and say that. How old was Aisha when Muhammad had sex with her? She was older. Hey, Hatun, Hatun. How old are you? I'm 14. You cannot talk. She cannot talk 14? No, we cannot talk. That's okay. Let's, let's 14 that. years old you're, cannot you're talk. Underage. You're underage. You cannot talk. Yes. But, but, let me answer the question. Let me answer the question. If Allah says, you're not a kid, you're a good boy, and we love you, my friend. We love you, kids. But Allah is saying in the surah, there are three groups of women that you can divorce. And he's, let me read it in Arabic. In case they didn't listen. Okay. In case you haven't heard it, so now the word of Allah is going to be read once again. Mr. Muslim, don't so, die. yeah, we are reading the verses from Quran, and the Quran is saying, Allah is saying that you can divorce three kinds of women, or three groups of women, and he is giving us the idda. al idda is the age or the time for them before they get remarried, okay? So this is first read in Arabic and then read it in English. Okay, this surah in Arabic, Khamsa Sittin wa Ayah Arba. Wallahi ya isna min al mahid. Hazi hiya awal magmua. Allahi ya isna min al mahid. Homan nisa al kibar fi sin. Kama saalna ahibat al muslimin wa ajabu ala hada al sual. Wallahi ya isna min al mahid min nisa ikum. Inar tabtum. يعني كنت في شك يعني أو في رأيب فعدة هن ثلاثة أشهر يعني you leave them three months after divorce okay المجموعة الثانية the second group is واللائي لم يحضنا واللائي لم يحضنا أي البنات اللي لسه أنا آسف في الكلام لم يأتي إليهم البيريود لم يأتي إليهم لم يصلوا إلى سن النضوج دول بنات أطفال بيقول لما تطلقهم تقعدهم ثلاث شهور عدة إزاي تطلقهم هو أنت جوزتهم إزاي وهم أطفال هو ده سؤالنا Can you marry a child and divorce her if she didn't have period and then you give them three months before they remarry هو ده السؤال ببساطة في أي مسلم هنا يقدر يجاوب على السؤال That's all Okay let let me just step in Sir gentleman who is wearing a black top Yes, you. Yeah. Yes. Would you, would you, allow your daughter to be married while she's not believing it, married with a man? No way. That's no way. Crazy. That's crazy. Why is that crazy? Because can I you come? You. Can come. you come and join us here? Absolutely. It's immoral. Immoral. Why? Why? The child she's doesn't have. Why don't first of all, the married? child doesn't have the capacity to be a wife. She doesn't have the capacity to have sex. Doesn't have the capacity even to think for herself. Okay, sir. Yeah. Would you want your five-year-old daughter no. to marry a man who is old? Arabic or English? Arabic. I want him to tell me if he would allow his daughter to marry someone who is old. هل يا أخي تسمح لبنتك اسمعني أخي لو سمحت هل ممكن تسمح لبنتك اللي عمرها خمس سنوات أو ست سنوات أن تتزوج رجل كبير لا لماذا لسه ما نضجت because she's not mature yet so what about if Allah says so طب إذا قال الله أخي إذا قال الله إنه ممكن تزوج بنتك وهي عمرها ست سنوات أو لم تحد بعد هل ستسمع كلامه أم تقول لا أنا بس I don't I'm talking I'm talking to this guy I'm talking to this guy I'm asking him a question 
No, yeah, Akun, don't talk about respect. Hey, Who hey. Don't talk about respect. Okay, respect. okay, my you're friend, a, my you're friend. A, you're on the internet. Okay, calm down. Uh, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, my yeah. brother. My brother. My brother, calm down. Calm down. Okay, I'm asking. I'm asking this guy. Please calm down. You're like my child, my brother. Okay. Yeah, yeah. عيب وقلة الأدب دي بقى ليك هت ده أنا أدى أبوك يا أخي هي عنصرية طب أوكي ستاب طيب عنصرية طب خلاص طب خلاص طب خلاص أوكي إحنا الموضوع مش شخصي يعني إحنا بنسأل سؤال عمي هذا الشخص المعروف يا أخويا ماشي ليه ماشي ليه لو الله قال لك جوز بنتك عمرها ست سنوات هترضى ولا لا ما هترضى هي دازن وقت طب هتعمل ايه مع الآية اللي موجودة في سورة 56 وآية 4 اللي هي ولم يحدنا هل بترفض القرآن أو هذه الآية اللي في القرآن هو بيقول لك ولا لم يحدنا no we're, we're asking questions can you answer the question can you answer the question can you can you can you answer the question? Can you? No, I'm asking you. Are you a Muslim? You're coming to kids. Into Muslim. I am not talking to kids. I'm talking to adults. I am talking to adults. Why suddenly Muslims are getting upset? Because we know you. So what? So what? So what? Because. You are not happy what Allah tells you to do to your daughter. That's the reason. You know it is wrong for a man to marry your child. Why are you mad? We're asking questions. You are upset with Allah. We're asking questions. Ask the Imam. You're in Dearborn. I want to ask Muslims. No, ya habibi. We are asking only the answer. I want to know. أنا أريد أن أعرف اللي قال علمني معك المسجد علمني المسجد موجود why why should I go to the imam I want to go to you هذي تعرف أكيد من UK أنا أنا بحكي معه so what so what so what ولا ما سألك شيء أنت حبيبي doesn't matter where I am all world is belong to God of Bible why is this the only thing you're talking about Hey, calm down, calm down, calm down. Why is Allah not saying that when you read it? So you read it 10 minutes ago, Allah wasn't saying that. Within 10 minutes you come up and then you are telling us what Allah said. If you have questions, go to the mosque. Go to the mosque. I've been to the mosque. Yeah, I didn't have answer to my question. I just want to respond to what you're saying. This man. Sir, I just want to repeat what you're saying. You're saying if we have questions, we should go to the mosque. You should. You should. We should not speak you should. publicly. You should speak publicly, but asking these type of questions that come like, and he's a person with a sound intellect. You can't just come up to people and tell them you got to marry a six-year-old. What kind of shit is that? Okay, but I just want to say something that Hatun did not come here on her on her own. We who live in in Deerborn, we invited her. Okay. Yes, but we're standing with you. I just want them to ask the question. Sure. Anyway, all I want to say is we're standing with Atun and the others who come to visit. You know that, right? Online racist. Online racist. racist. Anyway, I'll give the mic back to Atun. It's online. Speaker's Corner. Anybody want to see a Speaker's Corner? Atun. And listen to her. And listen to her talk to people that know actually about the book. If she was racist, she wouldn't spend her time trying to talk do it, to Arabs. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Uh, let's, okay. Did I get on to my question? I'm not, not, not Arab Muslim. I just read the Quranic verse. How can that make me racist? I just, I just read it. Never talk about my thing. The problem is when somebody doesn't know the answer of anything, they just draw accusations and say they're racist. It's okay. I am simply asking a question. Why you write on the Rasul? Where's your proof? Where's your proof? I want to give you a book. I want to give you a book. Brother, it's okay. I 
I'm just asking the Can question. Prove? You got the table, right? On this one. I'm just asking the question, and it's absolutely okay that you are getting upset with my question and you don't want to answer. That's absolutely fine. But that, that doesn't get rid of the problem. There is a problem. If a book tells you that you can have sex with a child and your conscious says that's wrong, then that's a problem. That's all you got to jump on, sex on a child? You don't got nothing else to preach about? Is it okay to have sex with a child? I'm disgusted you say that. I'm disgusted you actually say that in public. We did talk I'm about this. Disgusted you say that in public. So are you ashamed of what what's in the Quran? Oh, you're not. You're not. You're not a. You're not a. I'm just asking oh, you. Oh, hold on, hold on. You were part of the. You were part of the. Are you ashamed of what's in the Quran? You're not answering. You work with us. You're, you're not answering. Answer. You you're not answer. you we have some question. If yeah. you don't have an answer, you should that. just be quiet. Yes, sir. Okay. So the reason the reason question come up because this gentleman expressed. Mm -hmm. that he loves and he follows Jesus. I am Christian. I love and follow Jesus. I wanted to find out the way he follows Jesus. All I did was asking him what does Jesus teaches about children and what was your answer? She's been doing this. We know what she's doing. There's a Muslim. There's a Muslim. Jesus teaches the children and you shouldn't and that's a good teaching. Jesus teaches you shouldn't harm children and you shouldn't abuse children. That's a good, good teaching. But there's a teaching out there that says actually that can be done. So that is the problem. You can get upset about it, but that doesn't get rid of the problem. It doesn't change the fact that it's in your Quran. No, I do know the answer. It's not right. It's not right. It's called child. Sometimes we can't touch on things because we don't have the knowledge of it to give you, you know, details like the I, you know, you were reading and you were trying to explain that it says that you can marry a child. That's what the description came with me and you because I said. Well, you you can't marry an Islam unless the child reaches puberty and 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 and, and uh, it's okay by her parents. So I am quite okay for you to say I am not capable to understand this verse, which I think it is wrong. But I am quite okay for you to say, and I am quite also okay. I am also quite okay for you to verbalize. Actually, what is in the Quran is doesn't reflect my actions. So that makes me the question character and attitude, attitudes of Allah towards children, and I believe that's very dangerous. So therefore, once again, I want to express. He's accusing him of not being Muslim. I don't know why. He, he expressed you know to me he is a Muslim. Read the Quran. Read any part of the Quran. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim Malik Yawm Al-Din Iyaka Na'abudu Wa Iyaka Na'asta'in Hidina Suratul Mustaqim Suratul Latina In Amta Alayhu Karo Madubi Alayhu Wala Dooni how many what? Prayers in the Lord. Four. How many rak? I know prayers. How, How many, many rakas in my grip? Three. Okay. How many rakas in Isha? Four. How many rakas in okay. Fajr? Two. Okay. I'm more Muslim than you ever. He's fighting. He's fighting. He's fighting. Oh, Tell me that. I'm trying to accuse me of that. He's okay. I hear you. I'm okay. defending the Quran. Yes. Okay. I'm defending the Quran. Okay. 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 It's okay. It's okay for us to marry children. She knows we can't marry children. But I'm defending that, and you come up here yeah, claiming that I'm not Muslim. You better stop the law. Attack the law. Attack the law. I'm not drunk. Hold on a second. Because I don't like the way you accuse me of that. I don't like that. I don't like how you're debating. Hold on. We've shared that. Don't worry about that. You're debating. You ain't got sits in the place. Ain't on the one here. You're the only. You look like you. 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 You look like you.
Guys, guys, Here's the difference, folks. Why I wanted him to confront him on that was because this gentleman, as a professing Muslim, is willing to have a discussion with the Christians. This gentleman, as a professing Muslim, only wants to heckle. There's a big difference. Notice that we want to speak with those who want to have civil conversations. We don't want to just argue and scream at one another and make accusations. We want to have an intelligent discussion so we can arrive at some peace and understanding. You know who so she is? You know who she is? It's irrelevant. We're having How's discussions. How is that relevant? We're having discussions on subjects. You, not you're yet. looking familiar too, all of a sudden. We have, you know what it is? Do you know what it is? How many is? My face is on the post office, Habibi. Like our other brother said, we do know her. We invited her here. It is, it is not about anyone. It is about the teachings of Islam. Why, like he said, why is this guy not upset when she asks him the question, but you're getting upset? Yeah. I'm here and I'm talking about a whole bunch of nothing. It looks like a tag team duo. It looks like a tag team duo. Tag team duo. Tag team duo. Calm down. Did you hear him? How we know him? Exactly. Tag team duo. How we know 